Hey guys, uh, welcome to my another quick tutorial on setting up OpenVPN in Ubuntu. So I'll be doing a quick setup using automation script to install the OpenVPN in Ubuntu. I'll be testing this in uh, this solution. So what I'll do here is I'll just quickly put in droplet. Seems I'm, I'm I'm based in Sydney, so I will uh, point that one to somewhere else. Let's do Singapore. I'll be using 22.04. I'll let everything as it is. Let's give a name as open. Um, just. Deployment is completed. This is a public IP. And let me grab the script I'll be using to do the setup. I will leave the details in the description. So I'll be using this script to actually um, do the solution. So let me open up my terminal and let me grab the IP. What I'll do is just as root. And let me do APT update hyphen Y. <clears throat> so while the update is in progress, what I will do now is um, I will make sure I'm in desktop. I don't have any files here. So once I'm done with the update, let me have this file. Well, it will download a file. Uh, let me make it executable. And you see the permission has changed. Now what I'll do is I'll do the setup. I'll do one is the public IP that's ending in 102, right? And I'll be using UDP. And I'll be using 1194 as the port to listen. And here I'll be using number two. I want the Google data to be used here. Let me give a name as YouTube. So press enter. So this will, what it will do is now it will do the other setup and it will tell us where the actual config file is located so that we can use that one to use a VPN client to set up the insulator uh, to use uh, or to connect to that vpn so i'll be using a tool called tunnel bank <clears throat> and as you can see the client config is available in root blah 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 so let me do scp to get that file here so i'll do it scp a public address uh, 160, uh, 165.22.245.1.2 and uh, this is a file I want to download this to the current directory you can see the file here so if you go inside this file now this is a bunch of settings that's required and it is all populated. So now to actually install it, let me first close this thing. You just need to right click on it, turn the link. And let's say all users, keep a name. Then if you go to turn and link, connect to YouTube, and it will start the negotiation. The authorization looks like it's connected now. Now, if I go to uh, what my let's say, let's go to google.com and let's say, what's my IP? 
now if I open it side by side okay it's over here our IP was 245.102 this is the exact IP that we have now as a um, source of IP for the browsing internet or doing whatever we need my computer now so if I click in the website you will see now it's showing in Singapore and using this source and LLC. Yeah, sorry, LLC. So this is how it's done. And also one more thing, if you want to, you know, um, do the firewall setup for your virtual machine, it's pretty straightforward. You have to status. You should be disabled by default. You have to blue enable. And we just need two uh ports first now. That is SSH for that, um, accessing the machine if you ever need it. And other is uh, port 1194 um, that we need for the VPN to work. Now, another thing we need to do is so once you have VFW um, port 1194 enabled, you just need to reload the firewalls. Come take that into effect. Reload it now. If you do, you have to load status. Uh, you will see port twenty two, which is for SSH, and one one nine four is all uh, allowed for the machine. So this is a quick tutorial how you could do it. That's all for now. If you need any further um, help, just leave a comment there i will definitely be trying to um help you out in those parts